good morning or should I say good afternoon because it is definitely the afternoon time welcome back to a new vlog today is Saturday I just finished my third week of my pre medical school program and I just want to catch you guys up on a lot of things in today's video like I said it's Saturday it's gonna be I guess like a weekend in my life vlog but mainly I just want to do a lot of catching guys up and talking so if you want to know what's been going on in this little noggin of mine definitely stay tuned and if you're new here welcome make sure you guys subscribe past week has been kind of interesting because it's been chill in a sense where we had a quiz on the first day and then we had like a group assignment in biochemistry on Wednesday and then other than that we're just preparing for exam week next week so this weekend is kind of supposed to be really serious I don't want to say stressful but it should be really serious I should really be taking my time wisely this weekend because I have three exams next week and then it's Labor Day weekend and then I have an exam the day we get back so I really want to make sure that I'm staying on top of things I mentioned in my quiz vlog when it was the second week of classes how we have all of our quizzes and exams on the same week so on Monday we'll have biochemistry on Wednesday we'll have cell and molecular biology and then I believe on Friday we're gonna have physiology no we're gonna have microbiology and then the next Tuesday we're gonna have physiology I don't really remember the order the point is that with that information I had the plans to wake up at like 8 o'clock this morning go to the gym make breakfast study all day but my body had other plans a lot of it has to do with the fact that my sleep schedule just isn't consistent like I will have a burst of energy and I'll stay up really late one night setting and then I'll end up waking up late the next day and then it kind of impacts that whole day so then I go to sleep early then I wake up early then I stay up late then I wake up late and so one thing that I really want to get a manage of is kind of like my discipline when it comes to sleep because I think sleep is super important and it shouldn't be something that I see as a luxury like oh I get to sleep in late this day or I get to like no every day I should be getting eight hours no matter if it's a quiz week an exam week or if I have nothing going on that week at all I think it's a really great way of trying to take care of my mind and my sanity but in addition to that I'm also really trying to take care of my body it was on my goal list this week to go to the gym on Wednesday this is gonna be my first time going to the gym in a very long time like the last time I worked out like lifted weights worked out like Apple Watch said go for a workout was I believe when I went to Orange Theory and that was when I was still working my full-time job now when I was preparing for Miss Maryland I was dancing consistently like even before then I was going to like ballet classes four times a week so I have been active but I haven't been as active as I used to be even when I was active and I wasn't in the gym so I know it's about time that I get back into it especially because one of the reasons why I chose this apartment was because it had a really nice gym a lot easier said than done because again I still don't have a grasp on my schedule but I just don't want to let too much time go past without me giving it a try and ultimately getting it in my routine so like I said it didn't happen on Wednesday I think I went to bed at like 3 a.m. on Tuesday so it didn't happen but now we're here on Saturday Day. and even though I feel like kind of a lot of anxiety just to be studying all day I also know that again I need rest and it'll make me feel better if I do these other things that I want to do like take care of my body and take care of my mind and so even though it's 2 p.m. the Saturday before exam week I am gonna go to the gym I mentioned to you guys in a previous video how I resubscribed to Fabletics used to be sponsored by Fabletics and Lord if you hear me please let the Fabletics people reach back out to me again because I genuinely love Fabletics like I love their workout sets I love the idea of having a subscription service that you can skip you know you don't have to get it every single month but really nice quality workout sets I love a good matching two-piece or three-piece because for me getting a new workout set really encourages me to work out so I resubscribed and I purchased these two two sets that I unboxed earlier for you guys. I purchased these probably like two months ago, maybe a month and a half. I don't know. I don't know what time is right now, but I purchased them a long time ago and I was like, I'm going to save this workout set for the first time I work out in my gym in my new apartment. That was probably even before I knew that I was going to stay at this apartment. So it's been a long time coming. Today is finally the day. We have on the workout set. Let me show you guys. I don't know what this set is called, but it's so cute. Oh, look, it even matches my slippers. I'm obsessed. Okay, now this is really hard to do with the window behind me. Come on, focus on me, focus on me. 
and this mirror is dirty this is their like everyday bra my first time getting a bra like this i feel like i have small boobs so i don't really have any problems with like impacting things but i feel like this would probably be great i look like i'm gonna go to either ballet class or dance class or like yoga but i'm gonna do a full workout in this i also got this top which i'm definitely gonna wear because i don't be out and about with my stomach just out in public like that honey so i'm gonna wear this top and then this is the other set that i got i love this color i don't have anything like it i really like wearing bright colors to the gym or honestly just all black so this is really cute to end out the summertime and obviously the back of this matches these so these these are like the 7 8 length which is the same length that I have on today and then these are the shorts it hasn't been easy but it also hasn't been like excruciatingly hard I just haven't found the right balance yet and I know that I will with time I can take this off I just wanted to keep it on so I could show you guys well, mentally where I've been at right now is just kind of overwhelmed with the idea of doing anything other than studying like I'm taking this program extremely seriously extremely serious I don't want to mess up like I I realize that this is not only like my second chance but like my third chance and I really want to get to medical school and so to me that means like all hours of my day need to be consisting of studying like when I wake up I need to be ready to study everything I do needs to be around me studying because that's all this year is about which is true but also like I'm a human being <laughs> with like needs and friends and family and interest and I also have to like continue living my life and fostering these relationships and things and taking care of myself outside of just like going to school all day every day. So I've been kind of struggling because an opportunity will present itself either to hang out with a friend or to relax or to go out to dinner and I'll feel like oh my gosh like I would love to do that but if I'm doing that, that means I can't be studying. And if I'm not studying, like, what if that extra hour, extra two hours, extra three hours, extra five hours I could have been studying is the difference between me making an A on the exam or me passing the class or me getting into medical school. And this is literally how my anxiety formed in graduate school. And I definitely like feel it coming back. I decided earlier this week that I was going to use those three hours to go out late dinner and lunch with some friends. And when I tell you, you, I was so anxious the entire time. Like they were late. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get back by this time. And I literally just had to have like a mini pep talk with myself because <laughs> myself two hours to come to dinner because I normally take an hour for dinner. We got out of class early. We didn't have evening classes today. I decided to give myself two hours for dinner today. And then I was going to go back and study. And I've been really meaning to catch up with these people, with these friends of mine. But I'm kind of like freaking out on the inside because like they're late. And I'm like, oh, like instead of two hours, now we have an hour and a half. And and obviously like I want to stay disciplined and study during the time of the day that I'm supposed to be studying and resting when I need to rest but like also finding balance between resting and not working all the time and giving myself time to recharge and reset and recuperate so it's just a really hard balance because I'm like literally over here like with shortness of breath like having a hard time because I'm like oh gosh oh no like I should be studying while I'm waiting for them I'm literally like doing Anki cards on my phone and I just don't want there to be any excuse or any reason for me like not to do well on an exam but it just feels like it feels wrong it feels like I shouldn't be doing it and once again I'm realizing this is the first time that I have talked today I've gone the whole day without talking and it's 5 30 I think that's why my voice always sounds like it's like going out. It's cause like I'm not using it anymore. <laughs> and I literally set up a tutoring session exactly at a specific time the way I knew I would be back. And the whole time I was watching my clock and I was rushing. It's like I got it done and I got to hang out with friends but I was definitely rushing and not fully enjoying myself. It's better than nothing but I was disappointed at how worked up I got myself. Like how anxious I was simply because like my friends were late for lunch because I'm thinking about myself and my study schedule i've been in therapy but i'm not quite sure i think i may want to change my therapist because we'll see i'm going to talk to her about it next time i go to her but i think that like i understand that this is serious and i should be serious but everybody telling me how serious this is and how i should be serious like you don't have to put more pressure on me because I'm putting it all on myself. I need somebody to be like, but it's okay to do this and it's okay to do this. Or like, how can we manage both things instead of like, 
it's just going to be a rough year. Like it's just going to be a dark year. You just can't do this. You just can't do this. Like that gives me more anxiety because I know that there is a healthy way to balance it. Obviously, like school is a huge priority, but I was actually talking to my friend earlier today and he had this amazing quote i literally had to write it down can you genuinely have a work-life balance or does a work-life balance or study life school life balance exist while in graduate school or even probably like while in undergrad too especially like if you're in like an ivy league or an extremely competitive program you're just like taking a really hard major and you're actually like taking your undergrad seriously anyway we were having this conversation about how we can manage stress when like time is of the essence like time is so valuable and we talked about how life will happen regardless and how we really just have to make the decision like do we want to live some of that life or do we just want to like grind basically throughout our entire life and then for me it's kind of hard because I don't want to wake up and be like oh I lived too much I didn't grind enough and now have nothing to show for it whereas I could have been you know living the whole time and I don't want to grind so much where I'm just like I could have lived a little bit like there has to be a balance between grinding a lot but living enough to where you have enough energy to continue grinding and like I said I do take this program very seriously I take graduate school and the field of medicine very seriously so what he said to me was you can take it seriously, but make sure you're taking yourself as seriously. And to me, what that means is like taking my physical health seriously. Like it is so important that I take care of my body because I only have one body and like eating junk food or not eating at all or drinking a whole bunch of caffeine, like that is not good for my body and I have to take myself seriously. Like this is important to me as well, as well as like my mental health is important to me. And my relationships, hanging out with friends are subsections of my mental health and my overall well-being so just as much as I'm taking my school seriously I really shouldn't take school more seriously than I take myself like I have to care about myself first and foremost while also caring about school hope that made some sense I think for some people you'll get it and for other people you won't <laughs> It'll be just like, girl, just study. But it's getting to the point, like I said, where it feels like there's just not enough hours in the day to study. And so if I take just one hour to relax because I feel a little bit burnt out or tired or my interest goes somewhere or, like I said, an opportunity presents itself, I will feel guilty. Like, I'll feel anxious for taking that time because I feel like I need that time in order to accomplish everything I need to to be successful in my program but I did want to talk about this because I feel myself again getting very anxious because I feel like if I take any time out for myself then I'm not looking out for my future self which is the Breland who wants to be accepted into medical school but we are going to disbunk that myth that we can't take out time for ourselves and be productive and we're gonna work out today okay 30 years later, I finally have on my waist trainer and my, well it's not my knee brace, but it's like a compression thing for my knee um, because we're still praying for healing for that. Also, I decided to show you guys kind of the update of my closet because you can see how fun is it to be able to walk in the closet because it's a walk-in. I love this for me. But um, yeah, you guys saw in last week's vlog that Jasmine came and she unpacked these things, but not everything is unpacked, like my shoes and the things I need to be in drawers and my... Um, dresser and stuff like that so I have no idea where my workout shoes are but I do know that I have sneakers in here so I'm just gonna go ahead and wear some of these I'm just gonna bring this down Ugh. and this is the story of my life I'm wearing clothes that I normally wouldn't wear or like not switching out clothes that often sorry you guys are a little bit crooked but yeah that's just the nature of not fully being unpacked but I decided to show this because the same friend was telling me about how this is just temporary like of course I'm only gonna be staying in this apartment for one year but one day it will be like fully decorated and I will know exactly where my workout shoes are and I'll have my routine and stuff but it's kind of monumental just to document the moment where it is my first time going to the gym it is my first time trying to figure out where my workout shoes because I wasn't fully unpacked even though I've been living here for three weeks so I should be better off it's like by whose standards you know Obviously, I'd be more comfortable if I was fully unpacked, but and I could be doing that today. But I've decided to take this Saturday, today's moment away from studying to work out instead of unpack, and I'm okay with that decision. So I'm gonna put this box back up here. Ugh. Ugh. And I'll come back to it another time. <laughs>
Okay, y'all, so I have gone to the gym and the pool. I've showered, I'm starting my laundry, and I even picked up, uh-oh, what are you doing? Hold up. Not you not focusing, all right? Come on now. What is my camera doing? What's happening? Please, work with me. Okay, perfect. So um, I even picked up some packages here from Amazon, which reminded me that I have this huge Amazon haul that I'm gonna put in right now for you guys. I had probably the biggest Amazon purchase of my life this past week, and I obviously still have more things that didn't show up, but I'll show you guys the first half of the things right now. You know, obviously super excited for the things that I'm getting for my apartment, and I'm going a bit crazy. Honestly, I don't feel like I'm going crazy because a lot of this stuff I need, I do have a box here of all the stuff that I'm going to return, and a lot of this stuff isn't decorative either, and if it is decorative, it's also like functional. I got this really cute calendar from Target. I see all the aesthetic girls on Instagram with it. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, make sure to follow me because I'm going to start creating a lot of like study talk content over there. I think it's a really great way for me to continue to inspire you guys, motivate you guys, communicate with you guys on what's going on day to day life. If you guys don't want to have to wait two, three weeks, sometimes even a month until my vlogs come out to know what's going on in my life, you can stay up to date on my Instagram, especially if you're in school or you're studying. A lot of aesthetic videos and pictures and this is just a part of that aesthetic so of course my desk is going to be gold and white with touches of black so this is going to mine with that I also bought a board eraser because I do have a whiteboard somewhere in these boxes that I'm going to hang up I bought this that way when I write with my eraser I can also eat so that way when I write with my marker, I can also erase it. The Scotch Indoor double-sided mounting tape. You guys are probably gonna ask me a million questions when you see things all on my wall, like what do I use? It's definitely this right here. We can get all the Target stuff out of the way. I don't know why my voice has this like slight raspy tinge to it. We, I, I don't know about y'all, but I love a raspy voice. I don't know where it's coming from, but I kinda like it. But I'm like, you haven't even been talking. So like, why is your voice kinda gone? Okay, that's because in here, I actually, Oh, I hate the noise of styrofoam. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. These are the bowls that I'm using and they came in a pack of four. I don't need, I think like six bowls all together now. That's a bit much, but now I have them. So I guess even when I'm like making my eggs in the morning time, I'll just use these bowls. Literally there's styrofoam all over them. I am not a happy camper. Okay, finally. I'm like, you don't hear that? So this may seem so random, but this is a bacon storage box. Does anybody else get really annoyed with the fact that why do they not make bacon in resellable packages? I just do not understand. Lay out your bacon here. It goes in your refrigerator and it also has little tongs on it. So you can go ahead and grab your <laughs> bacon. This is so extra, but I really like it. This is what it looks like here on the picture so you guys can see. Also in here is another kitchen item and this is a new spoon holder but it's gold so I have decided to make my kitchen gold and white I literally have this same thing but in silver but we're going with the gold so next up this is something small there's so much packaging this is a lot of waste like literally it's a package inside of a package inside of a package Aww. This is so cute. This must be from a small business, but they're basically these coasters and they're so cute. You guys know, first of all, this is like my favorite color pink, the mauve dusty, millennial pink rose. I love these. So these are gonna go on my desk. Ooh, okay. Now I bought these to cut my vegetables, but these actually look like steak knives, but you can see that they have a really nice white handle on them. And I thought that, that was really cute. And again, timeless, something that I would want to keep in my kitchen forever and not get over and be like, girl, why did you buy them pink knives? So it also came with this size knife, which and it also came with this really big knife. <gasps> I didn't know I bought this. Oh my gosh, I thought I took this out of my, I thought I took this out of my cart, y'all, because my order was so expensive. I, I thought I took this out, but I guess I didn't. This is a wireless mouse, but I have mine up on the riser. It's just kind of difficult to be up here like this, you know, you kind of just want to like type right here. And I also got a keyboard. Where is the keyboard at? It's a mouse pad, but again, it's that really nice like pinky my mouse i really just like using a mouse i think it just helps out with my hand this stuff seems small but it's really nice when you're on your computer all day every day these 
these are a bunch of old silverware it's in here somewhere but like I said I wanted my kitchen to be white and gold I decided that I also want my utensils to be gold but I specifically wanted like you know just some harder knives not just the ones that were like butter knives this low-key is giving butter though I think I could maybe cut a steak with this but you guys know I eat meat meat okay this actually came in a pack of six so way more than I will ever need and these are like great quality they're nice and heavy Ooh, how exciting. kitchen these are acrylic salt and pepper grinder mill sets so i decided that i want my salt and pepper to stay on the top of my counter because obviously like i salt and pepper everything these this is it doesn't even do it the justice like the way that it looks in the box like these are so pretty that's how y'all know i'm getting old because i'm excited about some daggone salt and pepper shakers but this is so so cute are you kidding me see i'm gonna fill this up with salt and pepper and then i'm gonna ooh, that noise but y'all know what this is okay so in this box is basically a set with four different things here and it's for your candle so i could not find my lighter anywhere like the usb rechargeable ones i ended up getting one in gold because obviously i like my life in gold and then i also got this set so the rest of the pieces in the three set i'm finally joining the bougie life when it comes to my candles this is for you to cut the wick if i ever get a coffee table this will go on there but okay y'all so these are oh my gosh these are huge <laughs> so these are the containers that i got for my spices and i saw that they were huge i didn't think i thought they were this big so the reason why i got these is because obviously they're clear and the top here is basically adjustable so it can either be like a really thick sifter or a thin sifter like a pour all the way open and like i mentioned to you guys these things are super cute but when your hands are dirty you just want to grab and sift you do come with labels so i was considering doing the whole aesthetic thing but i don't know if this is going to fit in my drawer i don't know if i'm going to keep these or return them or not i cannot find the right thing that i'm looking for and i don't want it just to be like beautiful i also want it to be functional this big box we only have two things one of them are these shower over the door hooks but they're in gold obviously it's for my shower so i don't have a lot of like hook space in there but they have a hook on the back of the door so at my mom's loft i had like an over the door hook that had multiple things but it did get really messy and it kind of just makes the whole space feel cluttered so there's no place for you to put your washcloth and your towel so i got this which is really nice because it just hangs over top of your shower and you can just place whatever you want on here so these came with a pack of two which is really cute and it's going to go perfectly with the gold in my bathroom last thing in this box is just a white cutting board this is actually like really heavy good material oh it's gonna be a mess to clean up i showed you guys in a previous video that i got this really cute like pink marble and i decided that i didn't want to do the pink and i could not find one that was like gold anywhere so i just got one that was like realistic and this one is literally just like white and plain and square so and then there's one thing in here y'all gotta do better with your packaging man oh these are my utensils yay so these are my gold utensils Okay, so I unboxed them all to make sure that they were all perfect and they're so cute. They came with three of basically each size. These are like really big forks, big spoons, small forks, small spoons, and then also again the butter knife. You can tell the difference here between the butter knife that I got and then like these steak knives. It's like a little bit, you know, sharper. <laughs> anyway, so now I have all these utensils. Finally, we can stop eating with plastic stuff. Of course, a box inside of a box. They love doing that. This is my new curtain rod. <laughs> and it's literally just simple and gold. I also have another curtain rod. Child, this thing is like stuck. So I'll just go ahead and... Oh. The boxes. The pressure is getting worse. Okay. Ooh. So this right here, I'm super excited about this. This is a faux fur blanket a soft and fuzzy blanket with easy maintenance and machine washable i got it in like a cream color this is going to be like the blanket that i keep here on the couch 
you know, you just need one that's like a good size that you can cuddle up with, but then it also looks cute just like to leave on the couch. So I got this one. This is basically what it looks like. And the goal is just to have it like laying on the couch like that. So, Lord, okay, next thing in this box, <laughs> I'm looking like I ain't need some of this stuff. <laughs> It is a produce keeper and I really liked it because it was just regular acrylic. A lot of these come in like green and blue and I'm like, I just want to keep it neutral in the refrigerator. I literally get baby spinach every single time that I go to the grocery store. Like I said, my little drawers are a little small so I want to be careful about what I'm putting in there. Like only the things that have to be in there. Oh, this may be what I'm most excited for. Y'all, this is a container to go inside of your air fryer <sighs> i'm obsessed i don't know about you guys but i use um what is it called um, aluminum foil every time i'm using my air fryer so this is going to come in handy one it's a lot better for cleanup and two it's a lot better for the environment and it also comes with like these really cute little handles this works out well this will be like my favorite amazon purchase to date i mean i like a lot of the stuff here but like I eat everything in the air fryer. And we take some like, look how cute! Not only is it a really cute pink color, like I would have gotten it, this comes in other colors as well too, like black and stuff, but I just got this one because like, why not? I'm literally obsessed. I'm so happy. I'm cooking tonight because I wanna use this. Like, so good. So for the kitchen. This is a paper towel holder. I decided that I'm gonna have mine in one of my cabinets since I have so much cabinet space, but not a lot of counter space. And this one you can just like adhere to the top of your thing. So I'm gonna put this on the inside of one of my cabinets. Super cute. I'll link it down below. Can you believe that I had the audacity to be shopping on Amazon during one of my breaks today? Like, Freeland, cut it out. <laughs> you don't need nothing else. Oh. I'm also really excited about these. I love a good salad for lunchtime. And I showed you guys a salad bowl that I used to take with me to work, but those were a little bit smaller. They actually, I saw on Amazon, they have one that are like double the size so instead of a square, it's like a rectangle. I'll leave those down below for you guys. If you're also like me, like I like a really big salad, like all the lettuce, like I want a big salad, but I also like a lid, that way I can shake it up. And so I didn't have one that was just a really good size where I could get like a whole salad pack and put it in there, but then also like put all my toppings in there, but then also like have a lid and then that way I could shake it with the dressing. And so I found these. These are actually bigger than I thought that they were. And I also didn't know that they had these like embossing of fruit on the side here, but you really can't tell from the far. They did have these in other colors, but again, going for a more timeless look, I kind of didn't want these. They didn't come in pink, so I just got them in like the clear one. And again, I just think it would be really nice to put a salad in here and then be able to mix it up and then eat it in like this nice big bowl. <laughs> like. If you really eat salads, then you know what I mean. Like, if you don't eat salads, you're going to be like, okay, that's a lot. Like, you can just have one in your small little bowl. No. If your actual full meal is a salad, this could be, a, this is a little big. <laughs> like, maybe if it was just a little bit smaller. But, I mean, rather be too big than too small. And also, this is really good because you can put this in the refrigerator afterwards. Or, you can put it in the refrigerator before have your salad meal prepped for the day. I'm impressed with what I found. I don't care if y'all like it or not, okay? These are solving my needs. <laughs> How about this? <laughs> that needs to be the next thing that I set up. It's my desk area here because I have just been chilling with it looking like that, like bare bones, nothing on the walls. Of course, I wanna keep my desk space neutral since it's right here in the living area. So it's gonna be mainly just like white and gold, but obviously a lot of my accessories are pink, which I think is gonna be really fun and cute and also still a vibe and an aesthetic. But this is gonna to add to the gold of the desk. And it also has two USB outlets on here, which is really good. I also got this because the review said that it didn't blind your eyes when it was on at nighttime. Because once the sun goes down, to have all the lights on, it can just be a bit jarring sometimes you know sometimes you just want it to be a little cozy a little vibey so <laughs> i got this i think this is like really cute and still minimal and classic and functional 10 out of 10 recommend so i'm honestly not gonna be returning as many things as i thought i would which means i just need to chill out and not buy anything else because this was hundreds of dollars worth of stuff and now i have the honors of getting rid of all these boxes Wow. 
welcome back to real time now before i show you guys the rest of the things that i bought i have to eat something because i literally haven't eaten all day and, and it's kind of in line with what i'm showing you guys because i'm gonna make a salad so you guys can see me use my new salad bowl yeah it is definitely big i still like it though use this chick-fil-a avocado lime ranch yes doing lettuce cucumbers chicken tomatoes and croutons this is like my go-to salad I already cut up my cucumbers from the other day I did use this I loved it it was great I'm gonna bowl and then mix it occasion really it's a day where I'm looking after myself so I'm gonna go ahead over here sit on the couch once I'm done the salad I'm gonna study for the day now I don't know if you guys can tell by the lighting in here but it's actually getting pretty late like I said I did get a late start to my day kind of makes me a little nervous y'all I'm literally living my best life right now like today is a glorious day I really wish I didn't, I wish I would have started earlier so I didn't feel so much like remorse. I felt like I was kind of taking too long in the gym. I was like, oh, all right, like, you know, take your time, but like hurry up at the same time, you know? A little bit of a review on the gym. Um, it was pretty much empty. There was like two people in there the whole time. Like one guy was there when I came, he ended up leaving. And one guy came in the middle of my set and he ended up leaving, so pretty good that I'm definitely a lot weaker than I was previously which is like obvious but like even doing push-ups on my knees was really really bad I was like oh oh my gosh like I am weak my knee did okay even on the treadmill my knee was fine and but I did forget I forgot about my hamstring y'all I completely forgot about my hamstring I think it's it's better um it's not like 100% but I think it's better I really was just so focused on my knee that I hadn't been lifting my leg enough to remember that my hamstring was injured. So I'm doing okay. And also I had a really good stretch afterwards, which I'm also really looking forward to because I sit down so much all day. Like I'm not quite sure if my desk chair is uncomfortable um, or I'm just literally like sitting down for 10 hours a day you know what i'm saying like i'm literally sitting down all day um so that's a big adjustment that's a bit of a change from like running around as an ma so i'm not quite used to it and so my lower back has been hurting a lot and i already have back pain so stretching is going to be really good which is another reason why i'm excited to continue on um i just dipped into the pool because today is saturday it's a beautiful day outside so chow everybody and our mama was having a cookout oh my gosh there was this moment where i opened up this door for this woman who was trying to get to the pool because the pool is outside of the gym and she was like oh my goodness are you famous you need to be famous because Honey, it's giving Lori Harvey, it's giving Kiki Palmer, it's giving, can I follow you? Like, what's your at name? And I was like, um, she's like, you don't have a following? 
you don't have a following girl? And I was like, well, I mean, not for the reasons you probably think. And she was like, girl, what is your workout routine? Like, I should be joining you in the gym right now. And I, she was just so funny. Um, so that made me feel good because I was like, I, I don't look horrible. I'm not like out of shape. I'm out of shape, but I'm not like, I don't look out of shape because I haven't been eating that well. I haven't been eating enough. So I'm more so like weak than like, over my normal weight really just a matter of me like gaining back my strength toning definition things like that like i said really just feeling good if you guys don't know i actually listened to a gospel workout playlist when i work out and i was like oh i forgot about these songs like i haven't listened to them in so long i really need to update it but i'll leave that link down below for you guys um on apple music because i think it's really important to pay attention to the music that you listen to when you're working out of course we all want it to be upbeat but just be careful about what you're putting in your ears anyway i definitely want to make sure that i get some studying done today and i also study before before I picked up the camera. I wish I did more in the morning time or like I originally planned, I think this would have been the perfect Saturday routine to do at like 9 a.m., 10 a.m., not like 2 p.m. I don't wanna force myself to wake up early, but I also don't wanna take up the whole day. But it's okay, we're a work in progress. We're just finding the balance, finding what's gonna work for us. But in the meantime, I have had a great day. I'm looking forward to this dinner so I can have some good food, get dressed up, go out to eat. I don't know what I'm wearing though. So I will check back in with you guys when it's time for me to figure it out. bunch of items from their workwear collection. I'm going to show them to you guys today and hopefully we can find something to wear tonight for dinner. I'm not going to hold you guys. I'm like exhausted. I'm so tired. Like I don't want to go. I really just want to like study for maybe two hours and then go to bed and call it a night. But I made this commitment like a month ago. So we're gonna go we're gonna find something to wear we're gonna get ready we're gonna have a good time but i've been meaning to talk to you guys about how i have just been dressing like mm, not great lately and i love fashion so much i think that it's such a great expression of you and your personality and who you are and i just think like why not take fashion seriously but working from home studying from home going to school virtually it has definitely got me in a horrible rut i've been wearing like the same thing over and over again like this set that i have on right now old school pink i've had this literally since college if y'all remember i don't mind wearing stuff like this especially like if i'm going to study at home because this is like a cute set it's comfortable it makes me feel good but on some days i want to put myself together before classes just so that i feel better and this collection is perfect for anybody out there who is currently working these are things that you can wear in the workplace okay sorry about the lighting you guys but this is a really easy way for me to just show you guys the pieces really quickly first things first is this adorable hot pink tweed blazer i love pink i love tweed like this blazer is so cute now i have these style with another item here which are these really cute like balloon pants the waist of these fit really nice and i can see this being a really nice work pant next up is something that's very similar cute top and honestly i feel like it looks really 90s when you pair with a pair of pants like this but i would probably again do something a little bit more streamlined i actually believe that this comes with a matching skirt but i didn't receive that this time so i'll probably go back and get it because i love this color pink i love the way that this looks like it fits really really nice with like little shoulder pads and longer sleeves I feel like it's very professional but it can still show your personal style I like it with the bandeau underneath of it because you know it doesn't show too much even the buttons on here are like little roses I don't know if you guys can see it it's so cute and next up are these pants now again don't mind it I'm wearing it very casually right now but you could definitely dress these pants up now I love the idea of these pants because they're like in these dark green which is gonna be perfect for the fall time I thought that they were going to be like flooded on the ground but they're not so I would actually probably get these tailored to be like cigarette pants but other than 
that I really like them I like the way that they fit here at the top like maybe take a little bit off but honestly not too bad at all and guess what so I actually have a few purse options with this here is the first purse you guys know I love me a good white purse honey yes this is so cute with the gold detail it has a long chain and it also has the short chain here this is so cute and you guys can already see the second purse right here which I'm obsessed with it oh my gosh look at it gorgeous beautiful stunning the quality is amazing and the greens match up pretty well if I do say so myself like I like this I think that I kind of want to wear this for dinner today and you know what actually would be really cute with this as well are some of these new shoes that I got as well now don't mind my rug that's gonna go out there in the living room y'all know we are not unpacked yet but let's talk about Shein has big foot friendly shoes if you guys don't know I'm 5'11 and I wear a size 11 so I actually love to get shoes from Shein because they're always really trendy and cute and they come in my size I feel like these would be perfect for dinner because they have a thick heel I'm gonna try one of them on Okay, so they wrap up really easily and just as I expected, they're really comfortable. Because of like the double platform, it literally feels like, oh my gosh, these are so comfortable. If you wanted to go with the white too, and if we're also talking about like for work, these adorable white croc sling bags would also be really, really cute. So these are still very much so my jam, especially if I'm going into a workplace, you probably want to wear flats. These are the last two items here. This yellow lighting from the closet is not doing the dress justice, but it is the most beautiful, oh, no, look at, there you go. Look at the purple, it's so cute. And then you guys didn't see my shoes. These are the heels, so cute. Now, because they are multicolored, I could wear this with an orange dress, a red dress, a blue dress, any color blue, even with this purple, it still kind of goes, you know, and I feel like it adds a little bit of a pizzazz to this otherwise basic dress. Now, I am very tempted, like very tempted to wear this tonight, but I think I want to save this for next weekend because I have something special planned. So stay tuned. I think I am going to wear the black heels, but with a different bodysuit and a skirt. And I literally have to like leave in 30 minutes. All I have to do is my makeup, but I want to give myself time to do my makeup the right way. So I'm going to go and do that. And I will be back to show you guys my final look. Okay guys, I am running so late, but this is my outfit here. So this bodysuit is from Zara and then the skirt is from Shein. And then I'm obviously wearing my black shoes. You can't even tell. It got really dark in here. I don't have an overhead light in here, so it gets dark. Anyway, this is the fit. My makeup, not too shabby for a 15 minute face. I can't decide if I want my hair like this or if I want to keep it down. I have to go. I will vlog on my phone and show you guys what dinner is like. because not only was I 20 minutes late because I could not find parking you know I love this part of downtown it's the one where it's like the Zara and the Sephora is over here I haven't been over here in a while I used to do my little shopping trips anyway the point is child there are two locations oh uh, I didn't tell you guys we were going to Succotosh for our restaurant of choice tonight and there's one at the National Harbor in Maryland and then there's one here in DC and I'm here and she's there <laughs> So all that rushing, here's a better look at the outfit by the way, but all that rushing child and yeah, <laughs> we're not even in the same location. And I paid for parking, which absolutely sucks. So I think I'm about to just meet her there because it's only 20 minutes away from here and she's, li she's literally been sitting there waiting for me for 20 minutes. Like I feel so bad. Anyway, <sighs> I cannot believe myself. Okay, so I'm just gonna drive there. I keep saying this, ooh, yes, lighting. I keep saying this, but I just have to get better at my time management because at least like if I was on time and I was 20 minutes away, but I was at the wrong location, then it would have been like 20 minutes and then it would have worked out fine. But this time I was late and I'm 20 minutes away. So now I'm like double late. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
y'all i am back home it is literally 12 30 it's so late i'm exhausted i was tired before i even went but i had a really really great time i had dinner with my spellman sister and even though it was a very shaky start it ended off really well y'all know i can talk but i love a girl who can talk back as well like we discuss so many different things because we have a lot of things in common like medical school and youtube and just Christianity, life, all types of things. So it was a really great time and I really enjoyed seeing her and I'm excited because she's here in this area. So we're probably gonna meet up and do some studying soon. Um, I really liked my outfit tonight. I'm really glad that I wore those new Shein shoes because I did a lot of walking tonight even though I didn't expect it. From one parking garage to the restaurant, back to the parking garage, and then from another parking garage to the restaurant. Then, But it was like, wait a minute, I thought I was just gonna be looking cute. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to take off my makeup and head to bed and then I'm actually going to continue the vlog because tomorrow we're going to run a fun errand, which I feel like should be in this vlog since we're doing like these new things for self-care in this vlog. So stay tuned. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Tuesday. It is a beautiful day in DC. Um, I'm in a good mood. It's 8.45, almost 9 a.m. That's why my voice is a little froggy. Like I mentioned to you guys, I talk a lot less when I live alone and I don't go to work. I just like go the whole day kind of silent until I pick up a camera, honestly. Um, but I'm on my way to the gym. So the reason why you guys haven't seen me in a couple of days is because on Sunday I had to, or I got to edit a new YouTube video up for you guys, as well as I was preparing for my first exam in biochem. And both of those things just took up like all day. Um, I've been really trying to stay consistent with at least getting one video up for you guys. I think I mentioned this before, but it's a bit difficult trying to find time to, to edit, but I've been giving myself basically the weekend to get it up on the weekend. And that's really just allowing me to do one video right now. I would love to do two, but I'm not gonna push it. I think one is enough. And then, uh, yeah, after I edited, which took a little bit longer, even though it was a 20 minute video and it took me four hours. So I got up early, but then by 10 a.m. I was like, oh my gosh, like the middle of the morning, I have to get studying. I was studying all day, up until the night. And um, my sleep schedule is just all over the place. Like I'm really, this week is weird, it's different. I'm, I have exams on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but then on Tuesday and Thursdays, we have no classes, no exams. It's just like your own review day. So that's today. So I'm up, I'm gonna go to the gym. Um, I kinda wanna utilize these days to do things that I haven't been able to do, but also like I need to study for my exam. So tomorrow I have an exam in cell and molecular biology. And I'm gonna end this vlog soon. I know it's getting really long, but I wanted to show you guys because today after I work out, I'm gonna go walk to the grocery store. Yee! Oh, you know what? I should be drinking a Celsius right now. Ooh, Celsius of the day. Y'all, I actually haven't had like a good old fashioned. I haven't had one of these in quite a minute now. I say quite a minute. For me, that means, you know, maybe like two weeks. I think I had one like on the first week of classes, but I haven't had one since because... music to my ears I like to have these on the days where I'm like knowing a lot is going to be going on and I need like a lot of energy but these are technically supposed to be pre-workouts mm. this is perfect so this is perfect because I'm tired today I'm gonna go work out and then afterwards I'm gonna run some errands and then I'm gonna study so I can definitely drink this whole thing and I feel like if I drink this before working out it won't make me jittery in a bad way. It'll make me jittery in a pre-workout way. Um, but normally I only drink half a can. But I think I showed you guys in previous videos too that I bought like iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts to make coffee at home. I'm not a coffee girl, you guys know, but honestly studying for the MCAT and then like working in my second doctor's office, they like had a coffee machine there and it gets the job done. Um, it messes with my sleep more than this does, I don't know why it's like it's a different I'm very sensitive to caffeine so it's a different like level like when I drink these I immediately like fill it I'm like whoa let's go and I feel like I can conquer the world and I love it um for coffee it's just like I'll feel like this all this like alertness and I'm like oh 
I'm not tired anymore. Great. But it's a lot like I it's I don't have to drink as much, but it was just good because I don't like the way that it tastes. So I can't drink that much. Like I only drink a little bit of coffee and I have to make sure that I cut myself off by like noon or 1 p.m. or else I literally won't sleep. And I know some people drink like two cups of coffee a day and I'm like, how can you drink coffee at 3 p.m. and go to sleep? Like I just, I don't understand it. So anyway, this works for me and it's gonna be great because normally I'll drink half a can and I'll put it away and then I'll drink the other half the next day. Um, but this is gonna be good because I can drink basically all of it today because I'm starting early and I'm working out. There's two more blocks in the semester. I'm really excited for this block to be over because then I can have a fresh start and it's all new content and I can stay on top of it because I was so behind this whole block because I moved on the first day of classes and so I'm just I'm really excited for a new block. I want to get like everything settled before then and that's good because this weekend is Labor Day weekend. So I'm excited to like finally get the hang of things and I'm like this is just a formality. I have to like do this I have to do these exams to close out the way I could start fresh but obviously I want to do well anyway enough rambling this is my gym outfit of the day I still have boxes everywhere I just <laughs> one thing at a time anyway I'm wearing my waist trainer by the way which is by J Sculpt um I don't think waist trainers are good for you I'm actually pretty sure they're not but I personally see a difference when I wear these and also I don't like to have my stomach out in the gym or really out in life period so I'm still gonna wear mine okay I don't really care if it's good for you or not I just try and breathe through my diaphragm and take deep breaths from my stomach um anywho but yeah this is another Fabletics set it's super old so I really can't like link it but I love me some Fabletics man all right every day is no since I was told that you don't want me to walk to the grocery store ah, I'm so excited oh I still have my knee brace on um I decided to keep my workout clothes on because it is hot outside I mean it's like 85 degrees um but it says it feels like 93 how was that even possible I don't know but yeah it was hot outside when I was walking I'm pretty sure I'm gonna sweat it's about like a mile away so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and keep this on and then shower when I get back I made my breakfast sandwich a little different today I saw it on Instagram um it's kind of like a quesadilla kind of it was good my spinach went bad y'all the avocados that i ordered um from giant like maybe two weeks ago like when i first moved in here they're all so bad like i've never opened up this is a trigger warning i don't know about you guys but i hate mold Ooh, it, oh like that is my one thing i hate i hate i hate mold like when oh if i see anything with like green i like i don't even want to look at it i don't want to touch it any like white fuck i'm literally like oh i hate it so much like that is my th i hate it so much and i've never i opened up avocado earlier this week or last week i guess i can't even finish this conversation but i'm like Ooh, this these are the worst avocados I've ever received in my life and then you had to put me through that trauma I'm literally traumatized I need to go and pick out my dad more avocados myself because I haven't been able to have my good breakfast wraps like I like oh my gosh I literally I have the ick I gave myself the ick oh I don't know what it is I hate it so much I hate it so much anyway let me take my mind off <laughs> alrighty I'm about to put in one airpod listen to renaissance walk there i'm gonna vlog on my phone because um i don't want to bring this big camera with me i'm gonna try and get too many things so i have to walk back like that's the biggest struggle so i'm bringing this back here <sighs> i'm kind of nervous i don't know why i literally don't know why i'm nervous i guess just because it's something new and different but all right let's go
right y'all I'm back home and that was a journey I'm like so tired <laughs> oh my gosh like it was really fun I enjoyed myself the walk wasn't like too bad it's like as soon as I was like okay are we there yet we were there I stopped by the bookstore on the way I didn't purchase anything I really wish I like could balance more doing recreational reading or like leisurely reading but I just don't have enough like leisure time in general or else I would really like get some books but I was trying to see if it would be a good place to study and not for like a long long time just because there wasn't really like a cute cafe type area but I'll give it a try um if you guys know any good coffee shops in DC let me know anyway I'm not gonna do a grocery haul just because um, I just did one in a previous vlog I didn't get everything that I needed Oof. by the way I am so sore <laughs> I actually feel better after working out because I was able to fully stretch and hopefully it feel even better once I get in the shower which I can't wait to do but um yeah you guys know my hamstring is definitely still tight my whole body is tight though right now Oh my god, I'm like so tired. Let me get this Celsius because that was that was a lot. As you guys saw, I had to get an Uber on the way back because this thing was heavy. Like I tried not to get too much. At least I fit it into one bag. But yeah, I think in the future, <laughs> I'm definitely going to drive. I mean, they validate your parking and everything. Oh, since I have this big pile of packages, I can also sit you guys right here. Ooh, we haven't done this angle before. Cute. How exciting and fun. This was actually my first time going grocery shopping at Whole Foods. Shocker. This actually was like even my first time really going into Whole Foods, I believe. Um, we'll see how fresh everything is. And it wasn't that expensive either, which is good. I expected for me to be like, oh my gosh, this is so expensive. Um, but it wasn't so I'm excited I'm gonna put this away I also considered biking back y'all haven't biked in so long and I missed it I missed the wind in my hair so I'm gonna take a bike ride around here soon and I was hoping that there'd be bikes nearby so I could do that but there wasn't so I just called an Uber anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and follow me on my social media at Breland Hunt and I'll see you guys in my next video make sure you live each day to the fullest because you only live once Bye. Ain't it good to be on your own? Ain't it fun you can't